Hi guys, Frostfangs here and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. I'm still ill, so excuse the weird voice and coughing that I'm going to try my best to cut out. We're playing the new character, Vivian. She's in BTS OB63. She's actually got a name that I can pronounce properly and don't have to think about how to say. She's really, really cool. She's actually got quite an interesting kit and the loadout we've got for her seems like it's going to be really, really overpowered, but don't quote me on that. I feel like, if anything, she's going to be nerfed. I'm going to say that straight away. We're going to go over a kit, then we're actually going to play a game with her. I'm going to try and queue because this is a day after she's been at least I was a little bit late to the party because obviously I was sick. So I'm going to go over a kit first. Light machine gun. It has 80 shots. That's the first thing I want to clear up. It has 80 bullets. You fire a shot every pretty much 0.15 of a second and you deal 200 damage, effective up to medium range. When firing, you move 50% slower. It's an LMG. It has a ton of shots. It doesn't deal crazy damage, but it does deal 300 with a headshot. So it does deal quite a bit. Your right click is precision sights. I had actual issues saying that. Look down the barrel of your machine gun. You gain improved accuracy, but move 50% slower. The slow does not stack with firing your gun. So... That's the same as Victor's right click, you just scope in. Sensor drone, that's your F. Throw out a deployable sensor that reveals enemies to you in a large radius. It can be destroyed, it's a deployable. I, it has a 10 second cooldown. I don't know how easy it is to destroy, I haven't actually had a go at her yet in game, but it's just like a little sensor drone. Like Kinesis, but it gives you vision instead of slowing them and dealing like a tiny amount of damage. Deflect a shield, that's your Q. Project a frontal shield that blocks 1800 damage for 6 seconds. You can also fire while the shield comes up. It essentially covers like your head till somewhere in your legs. Your feet are still hittable and your behind is and your sides are, it just covers your front. It's kind of cool, it's got a small cooldown, it absorbs a bit of damage. The ultimate is the bit that seems most interesting to me, it's called Sentinels. You summon two little drones that fire blasts when you fire, they deal 250 per second each, and they exist until they're destroyed or until you're killed. So your ult does go on cooldown, you can regen it back up whilst they're still up. They're just like two deployables that you throw out, you don't have to think about, and they can get destroyed. So it's really weird to have an ultimate that is essentially on forever, unless you're dead or they get destroyed. And they take quite a bit of damage. When I saw on the um, the, the public test server stream thing, the thing that they do to show off all the new stuff, they seem like they take quite a bit of damage. I don't know, I haven't actually tried them, so we'll see how they are in-game. The loadout I've got set up is um is something that I haven't seen anybody else do just yet, but it seems like it's going to be really, really strong. So, legendary card. These two are probably the ones you're going to use the most. Deal 20% increased damage if you've been firing for more than two seconds with 80 shots, and the load we've got, you're definitely going to be firing for longer than that. And the other one, sap rounds. Deal 150% increased damage to shields. Um, that one's obviously going to be picked up if you're going against a lot of people with shields. That one is just going to be the standard one, if you ask me. And this one is the one you start off with, which doesn't seem that strong. You and your deployables take 20% less damage from enemies revealed by the sensor drone. If you're going for a tanky version of this character, maybe the 20% damage reduction on yourself is good on the deployables. That obviously affects your ult and the mines, but that doesn't seem as strong as these two, if you ask me. I'd take 20% damage over 20% reduction with a character like this, and you'll see why, because the loadout we've got is called Runic Ammunition. Hitting a shot has 48% chance to not cost any ammo. Not only do you have 80 freaking shots, but half of the time, it's not going to use ammo if you land it. The other one, every shot made in precision sights has 32% chance to not cost ammo. That's whether you hit it or not, that one. So if you are hitting shots and you're aiming down stats, you're pretty much using, like, 2 out of every 10 shots, something like that. It's ridiculous. He heal 20% when hitting shields, that's obviously, if you're going against people with shields, that's going to be kind of useful. And these two are just filler cards. So these two seem really strong. Actually, don't know how they're going to perform in-game. That's her little head model. You actually have to scroll now just to see poor little Zin down there under the fold. Third time's the charm, I believe the saying is. Will it be? I actually don't know. I kind of feel like we're, we're just destined to not be able to play Vivian. Let's go, snipe that shit. Oh, snap, we actually got it! Oh, snap, we actually got it. I was really just expecting to have to be here for like another three hours or something dumb. We actually got her. Please nobody leave. Please nobody leave. I really don't have to do this again. Third time is indeed the charm. Don't know where that saying comes from. I think it's it's Irish something. I don't know. Oh, God, that's Meave. No, I can't mute her because I can't get to my settings. Oh, thank God she's changed. I've heard that song so many times. It's back. Somebody didn't pick. Somebody on the enemy team didn't pick. I know I'm not gonna get her again. I know it's just it's not gonna happen. And the other thing is I actually I actually physically don't have time to spend like an hour or two here trying to get a Vivian. So I really do need to get her in like the next couple tries. Well hopefully the next try. It's gonna happen. Trust me. I have faith. You have faith? Believe in me. <laughs> 
We actually got Vivian. Holy shit. It is now 5.15. I started to try and make this video at 3 o'clock. It's been 2 hours and 15 minutes, and I finally can play her. Hallelujah. We've got a Meave, a Nando, a freaking Cassie, and a Grok. We're going against another Vivian, of course. A Drogos, a Lex, a Nando, and a Buck. Okay, so I've already shown you that I've pretty much gone over everything already. I actually just want to play her in a damn game now. We're not using the standard loadout, we're using the one that I've made, which is pretty much infinite ammo, and hopefully never having to reload, or at least not having to do it often. I don't know how long the reload time is on it, but considering it's got 80 shots, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of long. We're playing Siege on Frog Isle. Let's do it. I don't know why it says Siege Frog Isle, and in parentheses it's got Siege again. I, I don't know. It genuinely has been two hours. I have genuinely been sat here for two hours trying to get Vivian. It, like, no joke. Considering they only have one character with shields, and that is Nando, we're gonna go for Opportunity in Chaos, because that 20% damage isn't just to characters, it's also to shields, so that will still help us a little bit. And the loadout, Runic Ammunition, as you- as I, like, said earlier. So if we scope down the sights, as you can see, not every single shot gets taken off the ammo counter. The recoil is kind of crazy. It bounces a hell of a lot right to left. Like, that's quite a lot of recoil. Shout out to Cassie, XX Super XX. And shout out to, no, not Grok, just shout out to Cassie and the entire team. Hopefully we can do well. The crystal's not red. I thought it was red, it's not, and it does spin. The reload actually isn't that bad. Never heard of you. De 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 Dedos Vok, my heart has just been pierced. Let's go. Let's play. I, I really just want to um, just want to play a goddamn game of Vivian. Well, look you up later. Shout to Dedos Vox. Who is this YouTuber? It's me. It's me. This is my first game, so probably gonna suck. Oh my lord. There's that bonus damage we're getting. This is already kind of crazy. I feel like I I I don't have to ever worry about ammo. I fired probably about a hundred shots there, but I realistically only fired about thirty from my mag. What the hell? This is weird. This is weird. Somebody's taunting behind there. I, I'm dead from Buck. There's uh, two massive bugs that are in PTS right now. <laughs> Shout out once again to Cassie. Uh, Ceres can be invisible and so can Drogos. I played the last game where two of the enemy team were invisible. I, I don't know how that even happens. How does that happen? Hello, Lex? Whoa, you are really slowed. So you might as well scope in when you fire because of how slowed you are anyway. Yeah, it makes sense to actually just scope in. I feel like I, feel like I have a little bit too much ammunition. I feel like they might cut her ammo down a little bit, because she's really strong. Her damage drop-off's pretty quick, but the loadout we've got right now basically gives me, like, infinite ammo. And that's not even a joke. In a fight, I'm not going to run out of ammunition if I'm scoped down. Just because of the cards we've got. It's kind of ridiculous. At range, your damage does drop off pretty fast, so there is that. There's my shield that I somehow got killed through. How did I die here? Hold on. My shield didn't even go up on her screen, apparently. Let's get Life Rip and Haven. I really like Vivian right now. Shout out to Nezek. The entire team right now is on some YouTube shit. Everybody's got the VIP stuff because everybody's got free gems and things. That's so cool. Let's throw one of them out. Yeah, you might as well scope in. You're kind of accurate, even though you're hip firing. I don't know what the Cassie's on about. Or the Nando. I don't know what's going on. In the shields, do the thing. Oh, wow. I forget her thing counts as a shield, so we can go through that really, really quickly. Oh, you're so slowed when you hip fire. I guess it is a heavy machine gun. God damn, and you also pierce through shields. She's really, really strong. I, I like she's not overpowered necessarily, but she definitely isn't weak. I think we can all agree on that. Okay, it takes like two shots to get rid of it. I thought that would be a little bit more difficult. I thought it might be like a Grok totem, but it's really not. It's like two shots to get rid of the mine. There we go. Zero to two. Two nil to us. I'll take it. I really, really like Vivian. She's like Victor but better. Actually, I, I take back that statement. I'm not going to go out and say she's straight up just better than Victor, but for me, I prefer her a hell of a lot to Victor. Her ultimate, I don't know what it's going to be like. Cassie really going in there. I'm just going to drop a U-Rock. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of mean. <laughs> her Q's really cool. It counts as a shield, though, so it doesn't last that long. Um, and the F... It's kind of cool. It's easily destructible. It's just the fact that you you don't really have to worry about ammo ever. I like I like that a lot. She's got a small amount of health. You're easy to kill, but the longer you stay alive, the more annoying you are because you're just pumping out bullets. I don't know how she's going to be with the default loadout. I definitely recommend giving this one a go. Infinite ammo Vivian is definitely a thing. So let's activate this loud ass sound effect. So this will just go forever now. I mean, obviously when we reload, we'll have to stop doing this. But the reload's pretty damn short. And this also goes quite well with the loadout we've got going. Oh my god, this is just insane. This is crazy right now. What is going on? 
What is going on? I'm just like holding fire onto a Nando and not even having to worry. Are you dead? Are you dead? I can like deal damage around corners because I've got explosive shots. Oh my god. I just- I never have to worry about ammo. That's the best thing about this. I'm dead. I don't care. I never have to worry about ammo. This is literally infinite ammo Vivian. I only ever have to reload if I'm firing for no reason. I I'm just- I'm a little bit just ecstatic that I'm able to make a video next. I thought I'd have to be here for even longer. It's been two hours and that's already quite long, but you know, I'm alright with that. Two hours isn't that bad just to get one damn game. Is she- is he dead? Have we got him? That bonus damage really does trigger pretty damn quickly because two seconds isn't that long with this loadout. At, at range though, as you can see, you're not that great. Once you're trying to kill somebody at a range, you're not doing as good of a job. When they get up close, you're destroying them. Oh god, my FPS. Can we kill that buck? Hip firing's really accurate too. I guess that's why you slow down. Like, it's, it's pretty much as accurate as scoping in. You don't really feel like you're losing that much accuracy, which is great. I knew where you were coming from. You have to kind of shoot her feet a little bit. Whoa, fireball to the face wasn't very nice. Let's throw that out. So, okay, that mine didn't work for some reason. That one didn't go out, don't know why. Jesus, Cassie's killing it with the love. Shout out to Cassie, for real. It's always nice to meet viewers in game. This is the first time I think anybody's been this ecstatic to be in a game. That's kind of weird. There we go, double. Look at this, I'm just I'm just holding fire. When, when, when do I ever have to reload? I've not even used half of my mag. What the fuck? <laughs> I've not even used half of my shots. I've not even used half of my damn shots. He's probably going to beat me now. JK, this is so dumb. She's, she's got to be nerfed. She has to be. In, from, from what I've played of her just now, I feel like she's way too strong. Like, the ultimate's great and all, because you're just chewing through everything. It, we just have infinite ammo. Maybe she's not as good if you don't use the loadout, but this loadout just lets you hold fire and never having to worry about anything. That's 4-0. I'm pretty sure it's 4-0. They could pull it back. Whoa, what's going on with that? Why am I so zoomed out all of a sudden? The golden rifle looks cool. Did Meave just curse with the curses? She might have done. There's also this new thing where people die. You can see where they died, how long they got to respawn. Really like that. Um, can we kill you? It's, she's definitely very accuracy dependent. If your accuracy sucks, you're not going to have a fun time with her. You shred through shields. You shred through people. She deals so much damage. If, you, if your accuracy sucks, like if you're bad with Tyra and you're bad with um, Victor, I wouldn't recommend giving her a go. I would recommend trying her, but I wouldn't recommend, you know, just playing all the time because if you're really bad at aiming, you're going to be bad with her. I think on console for Paladin, she's probably not going to be as strong, obviously, because it's a little bit different considering you're aiming with a controller. But on PC, with a person who knows what they're doing, not necessarily me, you're going to deal so much damage. See, I'm not even that great with her. I'm not that great because my accuracy is not the best. But the pro, then like the pro scene for her is going to be mental. You've got a self-shield, you've got a thing that pretty much doubles your damage, your ultimate. That doesn't pretty much- that never dies unless you get killed. Oh, this loadout as well is just so much fun. It's probably not the best loadout for it, but like, look! Look at this, I'm just holding fire! I'm literally just holding fire and not having to worry. What are you trying to do, my dude? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Meave's just gonna kill him. Just keep on holding fire. I had like 10 shots, and I, I was able to fire probably like 20. <laughs> Oh man, the loadout is just so dumb. That's why I like it right now. I think maybe if I was using the default one, I wouldn't enjoy this match as much. But it's the fact that I'm just I'm just holding fire. And if I'm in a close range fight, she deals crazy damage. At distance, she kind of sucks. So if you were fighting her against, like, if you were fighting a Knessa or a Strix at a range, you'd lose the fight. Just because at range, your damage drops off kind of heavily. But in short to medium, and medium maybe medium long, she deals so much. And obviously you got the shield which dies pretty fast if anybody's got Wrecker. Uh, like, as you saw, the other Vivian shield doesn't last even a second once I'm firing at it. Are you filming this game? Yes, pleasure to meet you. It's a good, good chance to test out the, the good, good opportunity to try out the voice pack. Super is, is going in. Oh my god, I've got to be on YouTube. Dude, it's it's not like a... Okay, whatever, let's go. Where, where's it? Is this a Vivian? No, you're a buck. Did you just... I thought you just jumped off the map. Uh, my accuracy is ass. we still got the kill. We still got the kill. Can we kill the other Vivian? Yes, we can. I'm still just holding fire at this point. There's the ult. That does stop you from firing, which is probably a good thing, because obviously if it didn't, that'd be broken. I just like the fact that this isn't that this should, this will just last forever, and you can't fire whilst you reload. There we go. This is ridiculous. Vivian is ridiculous. Let's just keep holding fire down here. The fact that we have explosive bullets. This essentially gives you explosive bullets. That's all this does. Okay, he's dead. Don't need to escape the Lord when I can fight that shit. He's gone. Oh my god. Vivian is insane. 
This is just ridiculous. This ult is up until I die, pretty much. Nobody's destroyed it yet. I've died every single time for this to run out. The bonus damage is a little bit too much at times. Can we kill her from this? Yeah, we can. Oh my lord. Self-shield. And you're dead as well. Oh no! No, they destroyed my ult! Okay, so it can be destroyed, but I'm nearly dead as well. They destroyed my ult there, but it, it takes quite a bit of damage before it's out. I think that because they're so little. But there you go. There's Drogo's corpse. What a game and what a character. Jesus Christ, my voice is starting to go. As you can tell, he got top play. That's the recolored version of her. Well, one of the recolors, she's actually got two. There you go. So this was us pretty much getting wiped right at the end there. I don't know what loadout she was using. I actually don't know what loadout the other Vivian was using, but the one I was using worked freaking fine. It might not necessarily be the best, but it's definitely the most ridiculous because it's infinite ammo. Like, realistically, in fights, I barely had to reload there because if you're landing shots, half of them get refunded, and if you're scoped in, that's like an extra 3%. It's like 80%, 80 I'm pretty sure it totals to. Bang on 80%, which is ridiculous. We went 18 to 8 with 72k damage. The only other person that was close within like 30,000 was their Vivian. So there you go. Shielding, we did 21k. I didn't really play the objective that much, but let's see what loadout she used. Um, I think she actually used the basic one. Oh no, pretty much she used the basic one, but then she added movement speed and a couple other little bits. There you go. Vivian is insane. Oh my god. I'm excited to see what she's like when she gets added into the game. I'm actually also interested to see what skin she gets and how much she gets changed, because she seems a little bit too strong. I think just that kind of demonstrates that she's a little bit too good at outputting damage. Like, she doubled the Drogos. Their Drogos was pretty bad, though. I think she's on par with Victor and Tyra. I don't think she even necessarily needs to be nerfed that much. Just because she's on the same level as those guys for outputting damage. Maybe more towards Victor than Tyra. And her ult just kind of turbos that. I, I really do like Vivian. I really, really do. She's a damage character. And she definitely does the role of dealing damage. And then some. She also shields too. Like, I, I don't really know. I don't know how you could dislike Vivian. She's... Not too outlandish, she, there's nothing ridiculously new about her, but at the same time, she doesn't really play the same way the other characters play because you've got so much ammo. You're kind of like a turret that can move and that has a shield. You're kind of like a turret. Never really thought of that. Vivian is like a turret, especially with the loadout we just used. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. See you all very, very soon. Let me know your thoughts on her in the comment section down below. If you don't see a video tomorrow or the day after, that's because I'm recovering from being ill. And as always, stay frosty.